What's up guys, and of course as always, welcome back to another of course League Battle, because we're doing this now. Finally back to the UBL, and I want to make a team builder video before I actually do my uh, draft analysis, because I changed quite differently. I joined the league with a different team than I actually ended up with, and the reason was we had a drop, and uh, I got the chance to join. Um, I actually was invited to UBL from the get-go, but decided to dec decline it due to work. I got my Master of Distilled Malt going, and it opened up a lot of opportunities for me, which kind of screwed up the schedule of potential having leagues. It didn't help that at the time I couldn't uh, evil gen, so I just couldn't focus on Pokemon the way I wanted to, and um, it wasn't actually until February where I felt I'm settled, and I can actually focus a bit on Pokemon and have fun, and uh, I told Otto, you know, besides being sorry, which I was, that I loved that opportunity if something happens and you be able to join again and uh, be able to focus on this full time or you know as much of the time as it takes though so, uh, it's it's a lot of work going into battles here that said if we're coming against Moral we battle him before and um, last time I battle him it went it went good but I wouldn't say it was a stellar game from my side um, I remember Thunderous getting a massive momentum and it was wrapped from there. Uh, I won't have that opportunity with the team I have now and uh, I have to recognize that as potential something to uh, keep in mind. Uh, his team is as follows. Gigalith, Shandalore, Hadragon, Frostmouth, Sylveon, Excrill, Division, um, Hilolisk, Roserade and Mantine. So overall I would say a really well balanced team and really specially defensive looking at it. And consider my team is really physical, hard hitting, and I think that's a very, very good perk for me. But besides that, there really isn't anything on the team I have now that will work that well. So I decided to mark the Pokemon I think either is not going to be there, or Pokemon I think are really good, and Pokemon I don't see as threats. Just to kind of, you know, give you an idea how I am thinking going into this game. So I think you find this kind of funny, hopefully. <laughs> but yeah, blue rings stand for Pokemon I think absolutely gonna be there but aren't threats. Um, orange rings are absolute threat that wins the game no matter what I do. And the red crosses are, I, I hope I don't see you, you aren't dangerous to me. <laughs> so yeah, Hydreigon, Excrill, um, absolute key threats. It doesn't necessarily matter what I think about them, they are just key threats. I don't tag with this team, I switch into Hydreigon. And it's a Pokemon I believe to only be scarfed, and uh, and and that's gonna be it. Like there is nothing I can do naturally against its team. The team I have now has no Fairy type, so Hydreigon is free to spam whatever its main stab is, and that's really frustrating. I will showcase the team I have, but quite frankly, the ch the changes I've made, while not the best. It's gonna be, had I had this game with that team, I would have been able to kind of pinpoint issues. I can't, here. Yeah. An extra little F1 soul stands in the sand, it's gonna be rough. Very few options versus that. Bronzong looks to be alright, but that's about it. And yeah, I have Bronzong on my team. A Gigalith, not a threat, but it's a key member for Exodrill. And it's something I want to be able to deal with head on. I don't want that Pokemon to set up. Any Stealth Frogs, I think it's very dangerous. Uh, Mantine is a Pokemon that um, can use Hurricane, Scald, Roost. It's one of the few Pokemon that actually can Roost, it has a re recovery, and, and that's annoying. Uh, so I expect that Pokemon to be, uh, no, tough to deal with. Um, I expect it to be Water Absorbed to be able to deal with the My Milolic, which might actually be the best Pokemon against him. Um, <laughs> it actually might be the only good Pokemon against him. And Rose Raid can't set up hazards. And um, I really don't have any way of really um, getting hazards out the field. So uh, anything he goes for, it's gonna stay. Uh, and then it's between Chandelure and Sylveon. I think Chandelure is the one that I leaning, I would assume, he'll bring in. But Sylveon is a nice pick in its own right, mainly for wish passing. But also, I don't have you know a proper fair resist theory besides Pranzang. So. And this thing can have been still fire, so I deem it a key threat, and that's something I don't want to deal with head on. Um, so that's it. That's Moral's team. I expect, like I said, Regalith, Mantine, Rose Raid, 
at Reagan X Riddle, and then it's between a toss up between Shannon Rich and Sylveon. So, this is what I'm prepping for. I'm actually actively ignoring the others um, because with this team, I really have to be pinpointing stuff and hope things work from there because I just don't have the matchup here. It's a very poor matchup in anything, and now I'm gonna tell you why. Now, don't worry. Next upload will not look at this poorly made, but the idea is something like this. We're gonna see the teams I'm fending up against and the more Pokemon I have available for the battle. Um, but due to, of course, this not being my original team, I don't wanna waste too much time on it. I, I really hope you understand why. And also, I'm gonna be more specific with EVs for next upcoming battles and be more specific with the individual build. I didn't have the time to really do that, and you know, I'm sorry. It looks sloppy, and it really is sloppy. But you guys can see, most likely, my team that I got to inherit was Galerian Darmanitan, which is mm, 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 nice. And then Bronson, Galvinchula, Bravery, Golur, Caselgo, Malodic, Mist Mime, Galerian Form, Surfish, and Dugtrio. Quite frankly, there are good Pokemons here, but the synergy is just not right. And that's something I really was struggling with here. And while my opponent doesn't necessarily have anything for the Galarian Darmanitan, it is whether or not I can actually exploit that on in its own right, as his water type does not resist it. Frostmod, I do believe, is the only Pokemon that could potentially come in on it, but it still dies. So it was rather easy. I had a lot of Pokemon that were, you're absolutely not coming. Um, so uh, Mr. Mime Galarian variant isn't here. Golurk isn't here. At all. <laughs> Axelgor isn't here. And, um, well, that means that uh, by taking them away, I'll, all of a sudden had uh, my ideal Mons ready to go. Um, let's see, oh, and Bravery didn't make it for obvious reason. It's kind of had a rough time here. Um, so what I needed was a switch into Sylveon, so Bronzo made sense. And I realized, since I don't have in a Pokemon that could potentially take away Hassid, since I actually bench in both Mr. Mime and Braviary, I realized I should bring Hassid on my own, as the only way he can take Hassid off the field is if he defox. And Stickweb, all things considered, is kind of tough on him, as all of his Pokemon besides Mantine and Hydreigon are grounded. So if anything, Mantine is his way off... Um, getting hazards off the field, so I should force him to do so. So Galvantula is carrying um, Stick Whip. The only thing I was kind of wondering is whether or not I should be Sashed and or um, Heavy Duty Boots. Uh, you'll see when I go to the battle, but at the time I haven't decided. Either way is fine I think, as it really isn't mattering a whole lot. Uh, Melodic, especially defensive with Flame Orb. Walls, everything really. Like, Rose Ray can only kill it if it doesn't go for a Leaf Storm, and that is doing roughly 70%. Besides that, it, 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 there is nothing happening here. If he uses Healer Lays, they're gonna Mirror Coke, whatever comes in. Um, and I was called an Ice Beam, it does make for fair coverage. The damage output is just not there, <laughs> but that's something to be expected. Um, the Bronze Link bring in the quick rundown, really. We have Rock Slide to get away the lights off. Um, um, Jarabol. Jarabol does still corner right damage, and then we have Light Screen and uh, Self Rocks. Simple set, and uh, it's not made to last this game. The only like real merit it has is that uh, it kind of walls Sylveon, but if Sylveon isn't there, then Bronzong is kind of redundant. It's a Pokemon that really fills a void, but I mean, I guess it could take on extra to an extent, but it won't win against it, and I know that. And same with Gilev. It's Pokemon can come in on it, but Gilev still gets to do its stuff before it switches out. And if Gilev has smacked on Earthquake, well, that's a lost matchup. Simple as that. Um, Surfetch, Bandit variant, Close Combat, Knockoff, Poison, Jab, and First Impression. <clears throat> Surfetch is a safety net, really, as it's not. It, it makes it here because the other ones aren't good enough to make it on their own. So Surfetch is a meaningless filler. Uh, it has its merits, first impression and choice bandit first impression, do Oko Hydreigon, uh, close combat Oko's Gigalith, close combat Oko Shondalor switch in on it, 
And uh, yeah, nothing here besides Mantine and Rose Raider really want to take that close combat intuition, which I believe is not going to make it. So if I get Surfetch on the spawn, it could be it could be decent, um, but it's not a, a particular Pokemon I like to use because I think it's too slow and it's too unflexible for my liking. Um, it has its merits, but I believe the other fighting types are better. Hence why I actually have dropped it. <laughs> Moving on here. Uh, Dog Trio barely made a cut for um, I guess it can lock in Shadow, it can lock in Exeril, lock in Gigalith. But it's just a weird revenge killer for this game. It really is. Um, we have Memento, um, we have potential Stealth Rocks if Bronzong falls in some capacity, and um, you know, uh, Earthquake, Stone Edge. It's, it, it's not super impressive. <laughs> And the only reason it makes it is because it's either a sack play or I can trap something. But if I do do either, I, I guess that speaks for how well I like Dugtrio. So I'm also dropping that Pokemon in, in the future here. As I believe while it is a threat in its own right, it's not how I want to use a ground type. Uh, it really isn't. And of course, last Pokemon, the, two, the coup de gras, the Darmanitin Gelarin form. No, not really. But yeah, Darmanitan, great Pokemon here. Um, if there's a one running theme here, it is that he doesn't have a switch into Ice Step besides Frostmoth, which not going to make it this game. Um, Shandalore, it's... Uh, oh, I should say, I'm using Galarian Tactics Choice Band. I was considering another set and being Scarf, but quite frankly, the Pokemons that are faster than me are gonna be faster than me anyway. Hydreigon is gonna be scarfed. It's no questions asked, really. And that's the only Pokemon I think is gonna be faster than me. Xreal is only faster in the sand. Hillelisk, if it makes it, which it won't, um, <coughs> should be scarfed also, I guess. So the way I figured, should I scarf myself against the Pokemons that are going to be scarfed anyway? Nah, nah, I shouldn't. I should be choice banded. I should tell Marol that, you know, you can switch. If you want to, but I will kill you. You'll die, son. And that's the idea. Like, my strat here is basically if I get Stick Web up, um, there is no Scarfer besides the Dragon that's gonna outspeed me. You know what that means? It means I decide how you're gonna die, son. That's, that's how Darmanitan works. He's the Reaper, he's the taker of souls. And I fucking hope this works. Um, I, like I said, Scarf was considered, but it just, I can't, I can't make that work naturally. Uh, Stickweb will force Marol to go for a defog if he's forced to and lose his own hazards. If that doesn't happen, well, that's a good thing. I gotta get my webs up one way or another. I need them because I need to beat potential Scarfers here. And the choice band damage just means things gonna hurt a lot. And uh, that's the idea. I have no intention of playing this game differently than that. So we have a Gorilla Tactics Banded Beast of Pokemon, and it's only gonna Ice School Crash. Worst case scenario is that I missed Ice School Crashes, and that's you know it's it's the whole Gen Six Mammo situation. You don't want to see it, but you know it's always there. Their manager represents that, and uh, it's gonna be rough. But yeah, I guess the only thing I fear is that you know. I already like defined that you know I don't have a switching for Hydreigon like at all. My Lord can take a hit or two, but it's not gonna win versus Hydreigon. I and that's gonna suck so much. So the way I see it, sorry, um, the way I see it, if I don't deal with Hydreigon, I will lose this game no matter what. But if I take out Hydreigon, there is really no reason for me of believing that Galera and Darmanitan just doesn't win on its own right, it is just about getting it in safe as it is so, so frail. But I'm feeling confident in my idea, not necessarily the team itself. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. Uh, with that said, I guess I'm being more lengthier than I need to. I hope you enjoyed this setup, and like I said, it's gonna be a bit more smarter designed for the next game or next upload, so stay tuned for that too. But also, of course, the game itself going up tomorrow. Wednesday, and we'll, you know, 
Mm, it's gonna be scary. <laughs> so, guys, as always, thanks for watching and take care. I want you, of course, make sure to see Moral's team builder side, as I believe he has a lot of things to to really share on his side. As you know, he has so many options against me. You, you have no idea what he chose. <laughs> so that's it. Thanks for watching and take care. Bye.